Hi there ladies, it's infertility time and I think I need to set the record straight. Um, you guys probably saw my video where I talked about chemical pregnancy and it was really awful. Um, but you know what? <laughs> Talk about irony and if you don't want to get depressed then don't watch this video <laughs> because it's bad. Um, the day I posted the chemical pregnancy video um, I was almost two months pregnant. I was backtracking. So the chemical pregnancy happened in November of last year and I was kind of catching up to my story um, in my videos. So I was almost two months pregnant when I posted that um, last week, whatever it was this week. So, um, you know, I thought nothing of it. I was like, oh, I'm continuing talking, telling my story. That morning that I posted that, um, my husband and I went into the doctor for a regular checkup and ultrasound to see how um, the baby was doing. Um, they had heard a heartbeat the week before, so everything looked good. So we go in and um, I had my ultrasound and there's no heartbeat. Um, it's really hard for me to talk about. Uh, if I tried to do this video a couple days ago, there's no way in hell. I'd be crying my eyes out. Um, I cried for three solid days straight and I could cry a whole lot more. Um, but uh, I had a miscarriage. So um, I have to go for a DNC and um, you know, I, I've been talking about how I can't believe what I'm going through and uh, I know other women have had miscarriages and man, ladies, Woo! I feel for you. It's horrible. Um, as soon as they told me that I had no heartbeat, I was in shock. Um, and then I cried my eyes out. And then they tell me that I have to go in for surgery. And, um, and then you realize that you have a dead baby in your body. And uh, it's disgusting. Seriously repulses me to think about it. It's repulsive. Um, and I feel awful because I went off of all the meds and I'm droning on and on and you're like, oh, it's the woe is me story and poor Lindsley and ah, ah, ah. and you know, I, I mean, what can I say? I have to tell you what's going on, right? This is what I, I, I committed to. And I think maybe I'm able to tell these stories because I think that maybe, you know, 30 people are, are watching my videos. So if 30 people know my story, that's fine, you know? Um, so, uh, I don't know what's in store for me. I don't know where I'm going to find the strength emotionally and physically to do anything else and continue. Um, I don't know if I'll be able to do another transfer. The doctors don't know yet. They don't know why, uh, you know, the baby didn't happen. Uh, they did, as I said, find a heartbeat. So that was very encouraging news. And yes, I had told a lot of close friends and family. A couple friends had sent me baby gifts. <laughs> and I told myself I wasn't gonna cry in this video because, you know, it's cheap, a cheap drama, right? <sighs> but here it is. So, um, I'm gonna continue because we want a baby and uh, if the doctor says that there's still a chance then we'll continue uh, and that's that I don't know if I'm gonna have a baby people say oh have hope have hope you know what F you F you man when you go through this and you have all of these issues and you have a miscarriage and someone tells you to have hope you want to tell them to go F off um, I don't have any hope. I don't. There is no hope, okay? I want to scream. I want to kill somebody right now. Um, I don't have hope. I have determination, though, is what I have. Determination, which means I will keep trying until the doctor tells me there's no options left. And then I don't know what we're going to do. I don't know what we're going to do. Don't ask me if I'm going to adopt. Don't ask me if I'm going to get a surrogate. Don't ask me if I'm going to do anything. I don't have answers. So stop asking me. Um, do I sound angry today? <laughs> Jesus.
my emotions are just woo woo woo. Um, anyways, that's I wanted to clear the air because I had a lot of people email me after I posted the um, you know chemical pregnancy video, thinking that it was from this current, and it wasn't, man. It's it's worse. <laughs> that was November. Today, yeah, this is miscarriage. Yeah, miscarriage. So you can check it off my list of things I've done in the infertility journal. And uh, I really hope that if you also went through this, that you are surviving, that your body's okay, that you're okay. And if um, you're in the fertility process, I hope it didn't scare you because um, every woman's, you know, a story is different. Hopefully you'll just, you know, like my friend Jill, take a little Clomid and get pregnant. Oh man, I wish that was my story, right? Oh, fertility, I couldn't get pregnant, so I had a little Clomid and ah, that'd be awesome. Yeah, but, um, and she's got two amazing girls. They're, oh, they're so cute. Oh, so cute. I would steal those babies in a second, but you know, that's illegal. Anyways, I'm done. Um, that's it for today, man. I think that's enough, don't you? This is the good, the bad, and hopefully, uh, I don't want to say hopefully, and maybe, how's that? The good, the bad, and maybe the baby.